Hey guys, Matt Lake here, back with another Unreal 5 Python tutorial. Uh, so this video is going to be following on from the last video um, where we built an editor utility widget that could call some Python. Um, so I'll just demonstrate that now. So we made this blueprint. Now if we ran, we had a little button and that button printed out whatever the Python script uh, said. So I had a request on the video basically asking how to have uh, input and return arguments in the Python node, um, just on this command node here. They suggested potentially promoting this Python command to a variable and then appending arguments in there and constructing that it that way, but th that's very messy um, and not practical because there is actually a process for doing this with the, the Python nodes. Uh, so you can't do it with this execute Python command, but there is a different node that allows you to do that. So if you right click in the background and type execute Python script instead of command, you'll get this node and you'll notice the only difference between these two is that we now have some details options on the left. So now we've got an inputs and an outputs. Um, so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how these work on the node itself before we actually use it in a uh, Python script use case. So let's begin by just plugging our button directly into this and we're going to make an input uh, variable. Let's just call it input and you'll notice it'll appear directly here on the node. So I'm gonna make a, a string and I'm gonna basically want that to be printed out from the Python script. So what we can do, make a new variable, just call it um, input, so it matches, and we can drag that in, get, and plug that directly into the input. So if we just compile and give this a value, so we're gonna call this uh, testing tutorial string. Now if we just compile that, and now in the actual script section, what we can do is we can just do print, open brackets. It basically just has to match the input pin, not the input variable. Okay, so now if we just compile that, go back to our content browser, run the editor utility widget, and click. And there we go. So that's how it works with a input. Now if we swap back, we can now do this, the same thing for an output. So if we make an output argument, and let's just call this one output, just so it matches. And now we've got this um, output node. So let's just uh, do a print string and let's just plug this output directly into that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make the output equal something. So let's do output equals, um, let's do input plus underscore one, two, three. So basically what I'm expecting to happen is it'll print testing tutorial string underscore one, two, three, okay? So if we just compile that and head back over, rerun the editor utility widget, clear the log, and there we go. So we've got the actual Python command printing testing tutorial string, and then we've got the actual node printing testing tutorial string underscore one, two, three. Quite straightforward, all you have to do is match the node input name with the variable name in the actual Python script that you do here. So let's get this working on an actual Python script. So let's duplicate this Python script node and let's just organize a little bit and move these over here and disconnect. So let's plug the clicked into the new script button. We're going to copy and paste the script from our previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. It's a very simple tutorial on how to get external files running from a Python node. So we've got this as our baseline. And now what we want to do is have an input be sent to that file and then we're going to return something, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this input again and plug it into the input down here. And because at the end of the day, we expect something out, let's duplicate the print string and hook that back up again, okay. So this won't do anything yet. This will probably error. So let's actually delve into the code that we need to do. Again, like always, the code will be in the description. Okay, so my Python script currently looks like this. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to make a function in here. So let's just delete all this script and then do define and we're gonna do ML function. So matlake function. Because we're gonna be inputting something into this function, we want to have a input argument. So let's just call this argument for sake. You wouldn't do this in an actual Python script though. Um, so we'll have that and we want to return 
that argument plus something because we want to we want to change it. We know it. We want to know it went through this function and been returned. So let's just do the same thing as we did before. Return argument plus underscore one two three. So if we save that, now let's head back into Unreal. Now, unlike the previous tutorial, which was just running the actual script, now we've got a function. So this script won't actually do anything once it's called. So to change that, what we're going to do is we're going to call that function that we've just made. So we're going to do tutorial, which is the name of the module, dot ml underscore function, because that's what a function is called. And we want to give it the argument. So we want to give it input into that. Okay. Because the Python script has a return argument, we basically need to make sure the Python script in Unreal has a variable to assign that argument to. So on tutorial.ml function, on the first bit of that line, what we want to do is we want to make it equal the output. So output equals, and then hit enter. And if we compile this and run the editor utility widget, just make sure it's all closed and reopened properly clear our output log and run this. So now we have inputted testing tutorial string from the input. It has run through the external file, which is then putting underscore one, two, three at the end. And then the print string node inside of Unreal is now printing that as an extension. So now that that's basically it. You can get, do all sorts of things here. You can basically use Python scripts to return selected assets, do all sorts of crazy things. But that's how you use an input and an output properly without having to do any string appends. And um, I hope this was helpful, and I especially hope it helped the guy who requested for this. Um, sorry, I forget your name off the top of my head. But yeah, guys, if you've got any uh, comments or questions, feel free to drop them below. Reach out to me on Twitter, Matt Lake TA. I'll answer every question, and hopefully, if you've got any requests, I can make another tutorial for you. Uh, thanks, guys, and have a good day. Bye.